Rewind Gospel Church, Gospel um, Singers, Gospel Group, who came and just tore it down with some amazing vocals. That was just beautiful. And we give thanks to them and pray for them as they're on their way home. Um, hold on a sec, let me just turn this one back up. Yeah, no. Hello, hello, hello. All right, okay, 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 that's better. So I can hear me. So that is that. So this needs to be this one. Okay, cool. Right. So, as I was saying, we are here with our second half of our show. And you guys want to come into this mic because I need you to talk into the mic so people can hear you. So, um, yeah. Do, is it still okay for you? It's still okay. Oh. <laughs> Who's got no back? Mm, don't worry, she'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be all right, yeah? All right, just come in. Yeah, let me in, speak, so. Huh? Okay, cool. Okay, so, just like to welcome you all to the studio today. Thank you for coming in appreciating it, you coming down to kind of discuss so just to give you a little bit of background we had um a show previously before where i was just talking about the community and um how people are not supportive of each other and i mentioned um an incident well a, a, a whatsapp message that i received because as you know whatsapp you know the social media is just crazy right now with people circulating information whether it's right or wrong information people are circulating it circulating it without even trying to find out if that information is correct so i i received um a picture um surmounting to an incident that um, allegedly took place with a restaurant called cool breeze restaurant out there in Hiver green so um i also received another message in relation to usain bolt's restaurant and was commenting on how people were sabot you know he just opened the restaurant and people were sabotaging him saying he's serving jerk chicken and hard dog bread and jerk chicken and hard dog bread can be sold so i don't get what the problem was but i just managed to mention that you know this is a problem that we have with our community because i ain't seen nothing about burger king or nothing about mcdonald's or kfc when it's not right you know what i mean but we ourselves in our culture are quick to tear down our own people so then i got a message saying you know what did you say about this um, restaurant because somebody's heard and they they want to speak to you but i was like no god women do women do women do you know what i mean so i was a bit nervous but then i spoke to um is it um natty here and you know we had a conversation about it and he said look this isn't necessarily what happened this is what happened and you know i said would you do you want to talk about it on the radio you know and put your side across and he said yes so we have Natty here today, and we also have Alice. Is it Alice or Alison? Alice. Alice. And we also have Danielle. Yes. Excellent. I did good. <laughs> well done, wait. So, guys, it's the Late Night Talk Show, City Lock Radio, every Sunday from 9 to 11, and we are joined with Cool Breeze Restaurant. So, guys, um, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. No. Thank you. Thank you for reaching out to me. And as I said, I didn't say anything negative about you. I just was just talking about the lack of support because as 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 I said you know I I don't know what happened particularly um I saw the picture and it was a, a container of of um you know a small um container of food and then on the plate um there was some food on the plate and a small thing that looked like or what's pretending to be um a cockroach so do you guys want to kind of put your you know do you want to sure um so um Thank you so much for having us. Oh. Said before. Um, we found out that there was a message so circulating not only on WhatsApp but also um, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And when we were on Facebook, um, a gentleman by the name of Lloyd Ramel Jr. Miller had posted a picture of Cool Breeze, the restaurant, um, claiming that his mother had come to the restaurant and bought food and taken it home only to find that there was a cockroach in it and when she returned to the restaurant the service that she received was less than desirable apparently according to him the um whoever he spoke to at the shop um just said well we hope you come back 
So I spoke to my aunt, um, who is Alice, the owner. Um, this is the 22nd year that Cool Breeze hey. has been. <laughs> you know, well, done, well done. And that's amazing because it's difficult to stay alive in this, you know, in this society, much less in the Caribbean industry. Absolutely, and I think that you know Alice continues to do great work in the community. Um, you know, serving the community as long as she has. The amount of people that have worked at Cool Breeze who continue to be you know um, employed because of Alice mm. is you know astounding but not only that part of the reason why she has lasted 22 years is because of her commitment to good customer service you can go anywhere and get jerk chicken rice and peas mm. but what happens the difference is when you come to Cool Breeze is that Alice has a certain level that she likes to upkeep mm -hmm. now <clears throat> when when I spoke to Alice and find out what was going on apparently what really took place is that um, a customer came back, had bought something, a lunchtime special. Mm -hmm. The lunchtime hours are between 11 and 2 p.m. Okay. They had Maybe bought a lunchtime. dinner, a lunchtime special. They had come back at 5 o'clock okay. in the evening oh, with the food, the, um, the food in a different... Was it lunch hour they mm -hmm. came back? Mm -hmm. They came back in the lunchtime hour, but the food was in a different container wow. and there was a live cockroach. The cockroach wasn't dead and cooked in with the food. The cockroach was live. And because they- When they brought the food back to you, the cockroach was alive? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. So the story that's going around on social media, nobody scrutinized it to find out if it's true. Everyone jumped on it because we understand in social media the world, what happens is bad news spreads faster of than course. good news. And nobody wants to ask questions. Everybody mm -hmm. just wants to dive in. Yeah. So the cockroach that they brought back wasn't in the container. We serve our dinners in yellow containers. Is that the polystyrene one? Yeah. The, po the yellow polystyrene. Yes. Okay, that's if what's you, in the picture. No, in the picture, it's actually a white one dish. One of these. Yes. No, one was in a plate and one was in like yeah. a... And in a white yeah, dish. That's the food dinner. back in a white dinner. plastic. Yeah. Like yeah. the um, Chinese container. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So they didn't actually bring it back in the food, in the container. And it also left the premises. We don't know where that cockroach came from, but the mm. fact that it was still alive... Let's mm. say, let's say, let's stretch the imagination. Let's say that the cockroach jumped in there in Cool Breeze, which... We don't know that it did. But you're trying to say to me that with, when we're serving hot food, a live cockroach can survive? That's story in the Mickey. And for us, it, for my aunt, it was devastating. Of course, of course. Because, you know, when the woman came back... Auntie, explain what happened when the lady came back. You could talk right into the microphone, please. In March, about... No, you definitely got to talk right into the yeah, microphone. Yeah, your voice is small. Go on. On the 9th of March, um, a couple returned dinners and um, picture on their phone to yes. say that a, a roach was found in their food. I took it to the staff and showed it to them. And the, the, the roach was alive, the little roach was alive. I went out and I apologized to her and I said, I don't know how this could happen because we've just had our inspection. Mm -hmm. And I'm truly sorry. And as it was busy, I gave her back her money and said, I'm truly sorry. This should never have happened. And then from there, so that happened back in January. Mm -hmm. This message on Facebook was posted the 13th of February. The timeline, if you were so outraged that's over by a month it, later. that's over a month later. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's a month and five days, nearly, two, nearly six weeks. The five, whole thing feels so vindictive and unfair, especially because if you know Alice, everyone who goes to Cool Breeze knows Alice. Mm -hmm. If you don't get the service where you expecting to get there you know that you can get alice's number you can call her you can come back where she's there because she's quite regular in her own shop mm -hmm. so it just feels so spiteful mm -hmm. right that you would go out of your way to share this message and then when people get hooked up in the hysteria of the whole thing they want to jump in and say yeah this happened to me and this happened to me mm -hmm. but without taking into consideration the fact that this is a small business this is not mcdonald's this is not mm. nando's this is not anything this is a small business run by one woman yeah and they come and they're not even understanding that when you say things like that it has an effect Definitely. you know this is the livelihood of my aunt's staff, yes. the people who work there and call Cool Breeze their livelihood. Mm -hmm. So when you're coming on there and you're telling lies, mm -hmm. which I'm very confident to say that it's lies, right? Yeah. That you didn't even mention nothing about 
Alice giving you back no money. You didn't mention, because that didn't help your narrative. Your narrative that Cool Breeze is, according to this man's post, is Dirty Breeze and all of that. To say the truth of the matter, which is that there was an apology and there was um, a refund. You didn't mention none of that because you wanted to run with this narrative that something bad happened and not Nagasa. Mm, interesting. Okay, okay, thank you. I mean... It's a catch-22 because the thing is, even look at the plate, I mean, I can't say because obviously if it's live, it wasn't a video, it was a, it was a picture. So I can't even say that, you know, it was running around the plate or something, but the plate was half eaten anyway. So for, you would have seen, like, when you see things in your food, you've normally been eating it for a little while and then you see something a little bit later on down, down the line, you will see that, okay, there's something in my food. You know, like if it's a hair or whatever the case it may be. Normally, you will see that potentially either first or when you've halfway eaten through the food. But for something to be light, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've seen these videos with people eating chicken and there's maggots coming out. That's a different thing. That's a whole different thing, definitely, um, and stuff like that. But for, because um, that's something that's coming from the food, that means it's stale food and stuff like that. So, but for a, a, a cockroach to be running, to be live when they've brought back the food, and you said even in in, in, in in a Chinese container. I mean, I don't know what they're like. Well, cockroaches has been there since the test of time anyway. <laughs> so they can withstand all kinds of drama mm -hmm. um, to say. But, I mean, it just, yeah, it just... And even when I was talking with Natty, one of the things that he talked about, like, I heard what you said, Danielle, in terms of if it did jump in when the whatever. But even the... Well, I don't even know. Because even maybe the heat... And stuff from the closed container. Do you wrap it in cling film to That's make right. sure that it doesn't leak out or anything like that? Absolutely. Because of the type of container it is, isn't it? So you would kind of wrap it if they're taking it away. Put it in the microwave or they might have said that they want it cold or potentially because you might have just opened at another time. What time do you open? No, but lunchtime specials are all served hot. Right, there you go. So it's quite interesting. And what you talked about, everything was... It was live anyway. So, you know, it was live. <laughs> I mean so from that perspective it's like how could it have survived you know from that length of time to that length of time in order to and you said it didn't come straight back or it took them a little while to come back it was within the lunch hour though. it was within the lunch hour, so lunch they couldn't, hour. okay so it was could have been within an hour or so that they came back okay 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 because lunch hour was still going on i remember that lunch hour was still taking place yeah okay okay i mean it's a sad situation because you know like i said there's two sides to every story and when you know you're being portrayed on social media like that as well it's like what what do i do you know the other side of that is you know you're on um google reviews i had a look on your um google reviews to see it's quite positive in terms of the reviews that you got yes there's there's always going to be negatives and um, there was some negatives i didn't see nothing that even related to um a cockroach anyway you know um and stuff like that i didn't see nothing really that i can record about customer service and such you know, everyone has different tastes, you know. To be fair, I, I, I do, I'm a um, caterer myself. I've got my own catering company. So um, I sell food myself. So, you know, I know that everybody cooks different, you know. Everyone does different. Some people use browning. I don't use browning. Do you know, just for an example, you know what I mean? Some people put potato in their curry goat. Some people put carrots. Some people put both. You know what I mean? I don't put nothing in mine. You know what I mean? So everyone cooks different. Everyone's taste is different. You know, we, Caribbean is a made up of an, a, a wide amount of nationality and na mm -hmm. countries, islands. Yeah. And also you've got Jamaican Caribbean, you've got Barbadian Caribbean, you've got St. Kitts, you've got some that I don't even know what other Dominica. countries. Dominica. <laughs> Everybody cooks different. You know what I mean? So, you know, some going to like your food, some not going to like your food. So the reviews was reflective of, you know, not to say different cultures, but different people have different, different tastes. Different tastes yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, but as you said, you've been going for 22 years. And, you know, how, if you've been going for 22 years, like this has happened beginning of this year, excuse me. So what's happened the last 21 years? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And Where, also this is, this, we have always had a very high... Um, rating from the Lewisham Council yeah. Food Standards Board. What is your are, rating? Five. Oh, Out of five. Yeah. Four. Oh, sorry. Okay, four. Me. Well, four. That's, four. That's, close to, that's close to five. Well, you know, and we've we've consistently been able to up to keep those standards. There's no way if we had cockroaches run around mm. that we would be able to do that. Because these four. people don't play. It's people's lives you're dealing with. You never heard about the girl who died eating pret? You, do you know what I mean? Like there's, Oh, yeah, with the nut allergy or something yeah. like that. 
and all of the, and imagine if if, if that's you're, you're, when you're serving people food you have their lives in your hand and it's your responsibility to take care of those people and that's part of alice's you know her, her whole mo is to look after people natty cares about his food and how he cooks it and how he prepares it and how we serve it to people so for me this this whole thing is quite heartbreaking to know that 22 years of hard work and establishment can come down to people lying on social yeah, media just like that it has affected the stuff come come here don't, don't be shy <laughs> alice this is why you're here you're here to talk to the people talk to the people let them know it has affected us um, and I'm missing my my regular customers. Please come back and see us. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> you, so you're saying that people have stopped coming? No, don't leave. So you're so saying that people have stopped coming to the restaurant? Yes, quite a few of our regular lunchtime customers. We haven't seen them in a while. Um, I know uh, sometimes it's because of finances, but on the whole, at three fifty a lunchtime. I think a lot of people come for that. Okay. So I mean. And you think that they stop coming because of that particular incident? Well, it's the young. I think it's the younger generation who are into social media, and they mostly believe what they read. Without, so I'm hoping by listening to this that they will see that it's not true and come and see us again. I mean, I'll go on. Did any of your customers ask you about it? Is this true? Yes. Anyone ask you about it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Some questions as well. They even bring it on phone and call us and show us. And it. showed you as well yes, that they yeah, received and, it. And we, we try to tell and explain it to them. Mm. So, because lady went back the other day. Yeah, come, we've got talking to the mic. <laughs> yes, this is the head chef of Coolbridge, yeah? Pick Beryl up speaking. All right. This thing was planning long time coming. What do you mean? I've heard of it. People talking about what... Don't go out into it because you're... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, people is talking about what Cool Breeze is doing and it's just a jealousy is out there. We well, say people talking about what you're doing, in what sense? Yeah, they, they claim that um, Cool Breeze staff is show off. And show cool, off? Yeah, and Cool Breeze needs competition because we are, they are just pointing out places that they could have different choice instead okay. of coming to Cool Breeze. So this was out there a long time. I've heard it personal. Oh. Complain have come to me. People have complained to me personal, and how they feel and think about it, you can see that something was there stirring up. So, so you think that somebody's got a vendetta against you guys? Yes, definitely. There's no doubt about that. Okay. Yeah? So if something was planning mm -hmm. in the making. So they said they was just waiting on the right time to strike. Oh. They say that. So you don't know who, so is that the people that have been put it out on social media or is it somebody else no, I, related to? I, no, no, I couldn't say that. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, 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 you don't know who, that, but yeah, you just so heard talks to say that. It was already a long time, they was finding about places where people can go and so forth and get their meal instead of come to Cold Breeze. Wow, okay, so the sabotage happened to you and within that, so they're saying Cold Breeze is selling food that's got cockroach in it and then, but you can go to Jack and Nori's over there so you could go to Pleasure Beach over there and get your food. Yeah, yeah. Because, you see, what happened is, you see, a lot of time they meet us on the road. Me especially. We said yeah. they meet us on the road. People, customers. customer meet okay, us. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, they come, they're giving them complaints and so forth. Some, some good, some bad, yeah? Yeah. And we tell them we try to sort these things out. We do, we have problems. We are all human and things like that. When we say something to a customer, he does not like, but it's always like that, isn't it? So we try mm -hmm. to... Straight up. What kind of things that people are saying they don't like? Salt. Like the service. They were talk, but we're talk about the salt as well. <laughs> yeah. It's a hop and down situation. Sometimes yeah, yeah, about yeah. the pepper. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, as we said, you know, everyone's got different tastes, isn't it? Yes, yeah, right. But mainly, that is not the problem. What they, they're planning definitely mm -hmm. to bring down the, the company. Right. It's out there a long time circulating. Wow. And, and, good running, you, you know, every shop yeah. come up against it. They try to come up against it to compete with this. And somewhere along the line, they fail. Mm -hmm. So they're still so in like the plan. They want to shut you down. Yeah, they're still in the plan. But the why though? There's enough space for everyone to come in because we've got see, jerk shack hair as well. When jerk shack hair from Barham. When you come into the shop, it's crowded. Yes. Are you talking to the microphone? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my, my aunt would like to say that when people, <laughs> for a long time, especially as the shop has been established as long as it has been, you would drive past Cool Breeze on a Friday night and you'll see the shop is packed. 
Now, rather than other people to take into consideration, oh, you know, I would also like to do that. In their mind, they can't do that unless we are not doing that. Mm -hmm. They want to do it and they don't want to share not questioning the fact that there will be a chicken cottage, a um, crispy fried chicken, all of these chicken shops right next to each other and everybody's thriving, yeah. more needs everybody. But when it comes to yard food, people cannot understand how we can all eat and there is space at the table because if you think Beryl's food is too spicy, if you have another Natty Dread down the road who has a shop, his shop can also thrive and I think that it's a wider discussion we have to have about the black community and the inability to see people succeeding and also realizing that in order for me to succeed, other people don't have to fail. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, no. And that's well said. You know, when you go into Sainsbury's, you, you, you don't just see one loaf of bread. You know what I mean? Hovis. You see Hovis, King's Mill, um, Everybody. Sainsbury's. Um, I don't eat bread, so I can't think of no more right now. But <laughs> sort of giving them free advertising, you know, you know what it is. You get what I'm saying, you know what I mean. So, you know, there is room for everybody. Even though I say though, because where I live, there's three Caribbean shops on one lane, and I say, well, why you got to open up all on the same place? But then to be fair, I don't go to one of them. I go to the other one because I prefer their food. You know what I mean? Mm. And the other one, I don't like their food so much. Every time I've ate from there, I've had a problem with something. You know what I mean? So, I don't go to that one, but I go to the other one. So, at the same time that I'm saying, why you all got to open up in the same place, it makes sense because then it gives you that variety. You know what I mean? And there's like five hairdressers on the road as well. I'm like, why five hairdressers? <laughs> Literally next door to each other. But I guess there's room for everybody. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people in the community. So, you know what I mean? If 10 people go Yasa and 20 people go Yasa, there's still space for everybody. You know what I mean? So... That, yeah, it is important to kind of look at what is it about us that in, it doesn't enable us to enable us to be alongside each other and stand together and and, 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 and fall together. You know what I mean? We all have to, I need to stand up and you need to fall down. You know, it's not, what's that um, thing you used to say, one for all and all for one? Is that the right one? Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> one for all and all for all one. For one yeah. yeah, it wasn't that, um, Three Musketeers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was one for all and all for one. I used to like that show, actually. Back in the day. <laughs> but it does show the camaraderie, it shows the union, it shows that, and that is definitely something that we're lacking, you know, in the community. And I mean, like I said, I, I your shop is in Hither Green. Um, I, I live in Clapham. So... I didn't see the Facebook information, but I received the WhatsApp message. Do you know what I mean? So it just shows where it spread. Like, I know that Hibber Green is not that... Did you say SE18? SE13. SE13, and I'm SW4. You know what I mean? So, um, I've got here, what's this? Official Garford, big up yourself, Official Garford, how you doing? He said, what I have noticed is there is a lot of competition in the Caribbean cooking. It is all down to preference. What people will... What people will try to sabotage your thing when you are becoming successful and expanding. People were trying to sabotage your thing, but you generally notice that the people closest to you are your, or are you, what do you say? Sorry. People were trying to sabotage your thing, but you generally noticed that the people's closest to you or friends or friends. So maybe he's saying, I'm sure, I think he might have missed a word out there, but that what he may be saying is that um, it could be people that's close to you or friends of people that's close to you that is doing the thing, you know what I mean, to try and bring you down because they're aware of your success. Yeah, which isn't... Which, which, you know what yeah, you need to do? Which is why it's about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, do you want to come and see if this is a call? Hello, um, I've got a Caribbean restaurant myself, so I totally know I what you're speaking about. A guy did it to me on Instagram. And it's not oh, nice. First of all, it, when I started reading them that day, it's like, you Hello. know, cyberbullying and stuff like that. When the, these people are saying stuff, you know you work so hard. It's not very nice. Hold but on, people second. don't realise the effect of words have power. Words have power and we need to start saying more positive things about our own people because it seems to be our own people that do this to us. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on a sec. Hello? Yeah, yeah. And they're happy to do it oh, as well. Hello. Too. Good evening. Good evening. I, I, I was trying to um, tune into the station but without any Yes, we are. We're in the middle of an interview with Cool Breeze and Radio. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can't hear you very well. I'm just checking if you're in the middle of an interview. Yes, we are in the middle of an interview. We are um, interviewing Cool Breeze Restaurant in Hibber Green. Yes. Um, I wanted to say, what, what's the frequency? Because I'm not picking you up online. It's 89.4 FM. 89.4? Yes. Or TuneIn Radio. If you go to TuneIn Radio... 
yeah, tune in radio. You can catch us on City Lock Radio or the FM dial is 89.4. Yeah, well, you're live. You're called. You're, we're speaking to you now. So if you've got a, a question or something you want to say. Oh, okay. Well, it'd be better if you talk now because when you're going to be like, when you're going to be listening, it's going to affect the call that you're making. Sorry? Like, when you tune into the radio, you're going to have to turn the radio down to call in to us anyways. No, that's okay. That's okay. okay. I, just want, I just want to pick up on, where, on, on exactly where you are because I've not been able to tune in. So I don't want to just ring in. I just I want you to find out exactly where you've got to. I don't know where you've got to. Okay, so and we've then, spoken about the issue. Back. We've Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah, she's actually going to call back. <laughs> Garfield said thank you for putting it right for me so yeah so it was correct in terms of him saying that um, friends of friends mm -hmm. you know that sabotaging sorry um, Marsha go on so it's, it's not it's, it's not a, you're not um, singled out I think that we need to do this, but the problem of us Caribbean people is we don't share anything everybody's doing no man is an island but um, just for example I'm going to say that because I've just set something up that you might be interested in I went to um, a food, an exhibition at XL. I think it might have been the takeaway at XL. Yeah. And there was a stand there and it was like, um, I think they were Asian and it was the Asian uh, Association of Food. So just as an inquiry, I said, oh, what's this about? And he looked at me and he said, yeah, have you got an Asian restaurant? Well, no, I haven't. But it left me feeling like, well, there's no stand for Caribbean food. Mm -hmm. No stand. And what it is, there's two... Caribbean food is big. You don't have to understand. You've been going for 22, 22 years. years. Yeah. My shop's been going five years in April. Congrats. It's not easy. And when people come and they, you know, they don't know, see the hours you put in. And it's, it's for love. It's not for money. Yeah, it's no, for love. No, it's true. Because yeah? cooking Caribbean food ain't easy. And I do it personally because I want to keep my traditions. My grandma showed me my food, yeah. And some of these young people with their nails and that, they can't need two dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they wouldn't know where to start. So my point is, um, I've actually set up a collective. I'm setting it up. I'm just going through the motions because we need to come together. So even you sharing the story makes me feel like I'm, I'm not the only person that went through that. Because you work so hard, you, you, people don't understand what goes behind this. And I think if more of us were together, we shared our stories, we networked, there's things you can do to, to bring each other up together. We don't have anything, and this is part of our problem, why people can just knock us down with their words. Absolutely. Most definitely, most definitely. Absolutely, and I think, like you said about um, how, how much time it takes and the energy it takes, what people have to understand is Cool Breeze is open all year round, every day, Monday to Sunday, wow, right? that's a lot. Every day of the week is open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. except for Sundays when it's open from 2 to 8. But the only day Alice isn't open Boxing is day. Christmas Day and Boxing Day. That's the only days that she's not. Beryl, wow. Beryl wow. comes into work 6 a.m. to start cooking fresh every day mm. okay when there's not staff there alice goes in she's not just one of these people who just sits at home or whatever she has to take part in what she's doing so when you're talking about all the effort that goes in and the tears and the hard work people don't want to talk about it they don't want to talk about the fact that the government have raised their business rates exponentially not, yeah, and, you still, go and you still have to pay for all of this stuff another thing i need to say right when these people come and they tell you oh is the food cooked fresh you're not allowed to keep stale food i wouldn't not sell allowed stale food, right but when you look go shard and spend 50 pound on that food that's been in their freezer for how many months a lot of these posh restaurants it's frozen food they're heating up for you and then we cook this fresh food daily and every don't day no respect or, or love for it we can't you cannot keep stale fruit and i promise <laughs> you if you bit into some chicken that had been in there three days or whatever you're imagining it i'm telling you that you would know straight away you would know straight away and you guys aren't thinking this through you are understanding the amount of things that these small businesses have to go through in order to adhere to the standards that the government have set and how often and regular these people come to check your standards right and the, the fact that you don't apply that to it is a part of this internal racism where we have where we hold white people to one standard but then we hold black businesses to another standard and it's unfair and that's the way in which you wonder why 
There's not more shops that have a track record like Alice with 22 years. Uno for check on herself, you know, and what you're doing to build up or tear down people's businesses. <laughs> you know what? It's funny because I remember when I first did Carnival, yeah, and um, it was my first time, and the rules are strict. I'm saying, but all these things you got to do to just have food out there, yeah. And when you're in Jamaica and stuff, the food the people that's out there in the hot sun, hot like fire. There's no freezer, there's no ice bucket, nothing. The chickens stay there in the box. They cook it on the grill, and nobody not die of food poisoning or nothing. But in England, we've got all these restrictions. Yeah, I remember they were just a simple thing like a sink. Yeah, I went out and bought two sink, paid man one hundred and something pounds to cut the sink and put the two sinks together so that I had a double sink. One to wash hand, one to wash food and all this, that and the other. Build up big hefty mm-hmm, frame. Mm-hmm. Listen, it's done me well, you know, because eight years now and I still got my sink. So when I go out and do my events, <laughs> I still got him. But the point I'm trying to make is that the man next door to me, you know what they add? You know the washing up bowl? They add two washing up bowl. And that's what they were using and they got through with that. And I'm saying backside, I had to spend nearly 200 pounds on a sink. For these restrictions, and this person was allowed Another to... Another thing, sorry, can I tell you yeah, what you're yeah. about, right? Sorry. You see, when you do these things, you see the burger van and the burger and chips. Oh, this my day. This like, cheap. If you're doing jerk, it goes up. Like, why is that? And so you don't see all of the things that are working against us, and we still provide to do this, because we do it for the love. People, you can't do this... Do it for the we love, we don't do it for the light. light. <laughs> <laughs> Success don't come overnight. <laughs> Listen, no, but it's true. Yeah. Because you see yeah. food, yeah? Every other day, I was saw a man cooking some chicken, right? And I said to him, and he was seasoning up chicken and red tea, and I said, what, bruv, you're not going to clean out the inside? He said, huh? I said, the little, um, you know the leg and the fry has got the um, piece of heart and little liver and thing in it? I said, you're not going to, I said, listen, if you don't want to clean it out, just take the knife and cut it off. And people do that, but, I said, and he said, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's true, it's true. He said, no, you're right. And I was just thinking, but if I didn't see you doing that, you would have prepared that food, sold it as jerk chicken, and then it's got pear insides in it. You can't sell food. like. And, and, and this is just a simple thing. This is just about chicken. It's not even about Caribbean chicken, but it's just about no, how you clean. You see them chicken and chip shops, they don't clean them up. And people, well, this is it, because you don't get Kentucky in them places. Them. You get all them insides in there, yeah, you know? And, they're not complaining. and people ain't complaining. God, I tell them. I just wanted to say... With the council inspection, the council did have a telephone conversation with the people who had this um, cockroach in their food. Okay. And they were told to come in and see them so that they can have proof and they would investigate. And they did not come back. Yet they go s- social media. Thank you, Alice. Okay, we've got a call here. 872, state your name, where you're calling from? Hello. Hello, hi. We can hear you. Hello? Hello, 872? Hello, yes, hi, we can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. Hi, you're live on Late Night Talk Show. How are you doing? Okay, um, I just want to say that I have had a um, cold breeze. Okay. And I've been eating there for almost 20 years. Excellent, excellent. And, and I have never had any problem with the food. Good, that's good to hear. Thank you for that. And, you, you know, I just find it really difficult that someone should um, make an allegation like this and not be able to and put it on Facebook and 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 not explain themselves the reason why they've done this. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I know that shop. I can see the work that the staff put into that shop. Mm-hmm. And I know Alice also for the work that she has done in and built up that shop. Thank you, thank you. What's your name? So I find it really hard that someone should actually make such an allegation. Have you experienced anything like this? also serves the community. Yes, sorry. In a big way. Mm-hmm. So, uh, did you hear about this incident that took place? Sorry? You heard about this incident that took place, yes? I can't hear you. Okay, so the, the incident that took place, you heard about it? Yes. And I heard you say that you've never had... So it hasn't stopped you from going to the shop and eating food. Sorry, I can't hear what you're saying. So it didn't stop you from going back to Cool Breeze and getting food? No. Excellent. No. That's good. And, you know, that's good because what one of the things that they're talking about is that some customers have stopped returning to the restaurant, you know. So business has kind of gone down since this whole incident has taken place in February. 
Okay, but then the thing is to ask themselves is, is the quality of the food good? Do they enjoy the food? I mean, a lot of the times I go there, there is a queue. Yes. And people have to wait. And I've heard people say that they will wait because they enjoy the food. Mm -hmm. And the queue is a good thing because if there's a queue, then that means people are happy. As far as I know, most of the people that I see in the shop, they are waiting. So obviously they must enjoy waiting for the food. Yes. That's true. That's true. Sorry. Um, we've, yeah. Thank you. For, thank you for that. Thank you for that. What's your name? Maureen. Maureen. Okay, Maureen. Thank you. Thank you for your call. Is there anything else that you would like to say in support of Corby's restaurant? Well, she the restaurant is um, a popular area as well. I mean, it's a well-known um, shop. Yeah. And also, she does help the community. Yeah. When you say helps the community, in what way does she, um, she help the community? She helps to support a football team. Oh, wow. And a cricket team. Oh, wow. And, and the cricket team is in East London. Come, come. Come, Alice. So it's not even in our area. Wow. And she does a football team in our area. Okay, that's amazing. Well done, well done. And that's good, you know, because a lot of people are doing stuff and they're not supporting others. So that's good that you're able to, Alice, in terms of Cool Breeze, support the restaurant, your customers, your 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 workforce, but equally the community in terms of what do you say, a cricket team and a football team. That's big. You should be very proud of yourself, Alice. You should be very proud. And you know what? Because short of it's a catch twenty two. Like I said, I can't say it happened or it didn't happen. But what we're seeing here is that people have said this has happened. They've been given an opportunity to stand forward and to speak to officials to discuss it. There was an inspection that took place prior, briefly, quite close to the date and time when it happened. Okay, and again, those people have been invited to speak to the officials about it. But one, they say one bad apple spoils the bunch. But that's not necessarily true. And what I'm saying is, my point is, what I'm trying to get to is that even if there was a cockroach in the food, yeah, that's a one-off incident. There's enough times you go to a shop and there'll be something in the food and you still go back there. How much things have we seen about McDonald's and we still go back to McDonald's and that's even donkey. foolish food. How they, gave the people donkey. they was giving people donkey and horse meat. <laughs> bird's eye. And they, people still buying bird's eye mm. with the horse meat and all this drama. You know what I mean? So it's like, why are you acting like that? You know, I, I, I just really feel like as a community, you know, we are, what they call it, crab in a barrel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that attitude, and it really, really needs to stop. Maureen, thank you. Is there anything else that you would like to say in support of as we've got eight minutes left before the end of the show? Hello? Oh, sorry, you're speaking to me. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Sorry, I was saying, Maureen, thank you for your call. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? I just pick her up because she does work very hard to keep that shop going. Anything you want to say to her? Thank you, Ma. You said thank you, Maureen. Thank you okay. very much. Okay. Bye. Thank you for your call. Appreciate it. Okay. See, that was a call of support. Thank you, Maureen for calling in and supporting your local restaurant and even letting us know what they do in the community. So it's not even just about filling people's bellies, but when people are buying food, that is then going back out into the community. Those funds are not all being kept in Maureen's pocket. Funds are being going out and distributing to two local groups, two, a football team and a cricket team. And that's amazing. That's a big thing. Well done, uh, Maureen. And again, I just want to say, uh, sorry, Alice, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say f oh, congratulations also in terms of serving the community for 22 years. Yeah. You know, that's a big thing. And it's a big feature, you know, to be able to continue to do that with consistency. Do you know what I mean? And for anyone that's listening that used to go there, that's not going anymore. Go there and talk to Maureen. Talk to the stuff, Alice. Talk to Alice, talk to the staff, you know. Um, Natty's there, you know. 
more uh, Ali, why am I keep calling more, saying more worry? Yeah, yeah. I know, but she's just stuck in my mind now. Yeah. You know, go there and speak to um Alice and the team and find out what's going on. Okay, we've got let's call her. Six eight three, how you doing? It's a late night talk show. Hello. Hello, hello there, how you doing? I'm I'm very well. I'm not actually um, able to tune in at all. It is there just seems to be a repeated uh, into um advert on to do with um to do with some sort of oil or something. I'm just not, not able to pick you up. I, I appear represent for the main station city lock radio you know, of the world blue ball a rock in a city. I'm speak I don't know what happened. What the hell? Where's the thing wrong? Wow. Talk talk in the microphone for me and Marsha a minute. Mic check one, one, two, three. What has happened here? Uh oh. Oh. <coughs> I don't know mm -hmm. what's happened here. You see, you see, Miss Miss Ali, that that is good enough because one two. Hello, hello. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know what's. You know what? I can't see what's here, but guys, we've got eight minutes left of the show. That person that's just called um was calling to let us know that they can't hear. I'm not sure what's happened. If it's just gone dead or not, because I can't see what's happened here. But if we just carry on anyway, because we've still got the video um, here that was recording and so forth. We've got five minutes left of the show. Um, um, so, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of threw me a little bit. I'm not sure what's happened there. I'm not sure why potentially that if there's anybody else that, uh, that um, is getting that same frequency, please let me know. If anyone's able to tune into Tune In Radio and let me know quickly um, if they can hear anything specifically in relation to the show. But it will be available on um, the, uh, my Facebook. I will share it out, the video as well. <laughs> Garfield said five minutes extra time. <laughs> Bless you, Garfield. Thank you for your support. It's amazing. Thank you. Cool Breeze, we've got five minutes left of the show anyway. What is it that you want to say to the customers, to the people that are out there that want to sabotage you guys and, and, and so forth? Well, what may I have to say, um, each customer, please. <laughs> each customer, they know us well and will be there for a long time. Yeah. All what they have got to do is question things. Yes. Don't just take it like that and just go about us with it. Question it and then after you question it, you can find where the truth lies. Yeah. yeah. And then you come to the shop, as we said before, and you see any one of us. And you can question well, just like a, a comment come there already. We say we have to look for that internal affair. Yes. Yeah. So we can't leave no stone unturned. Unturn, we definitely. have to look at everything, guys. There's something well planned, mm -hmm. and they have to talk. And it was long time in the making. Okay. Right until it come out now. Okay. So we still have to keep focus. Yeah. On what is going on around us. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you always gonna have these people out there, no matter how you see them smile with you. And I'm very much glad to see the amount of people that come back and come to question it. Because one lady met me outside the shop and it was three of them and his brother was in the car and they come out and was Christian and asked me, Is you the chef? He said yes. And they was asking me if they see the thing, he said yes. And then was talking to them. And you know what she said to me? She would not come back if it wasn't his brother. Because really? his brother said yes. Come, come sis, let's go there. And then she telling me what's happened. And his daughter told him, Mom, don't share that picture. Maybe something wrong. Yeah. Mm. So that's and, important. And you see, and then she come in and she spend her money. And say, all right then, we look at it more careful. Yeah. So you see, people still are conscious within themselves, willing to question things. But some people just hold it and run with it because they already did have it in mind. In their mind. see something go down. So that is why the problem with us. But as we say, Time goes on, and I hope we can really get together now and see things for our own self, and know 
anything we hear, question it. Yeah. Because it's Facebook situation, you know, it, it may help that one today, you know, but it's going to bring it down tomorrow. Oh, you know. yeah. So don't it's feel that it can respond back to them as well. You know. So true. there's nothing we do where we can escape what is going on around us today. Because social media is up and going. You know. yeah. And it's slippy slip. We just hold the road. No, it's true. It's true. <laughs> you, see, you, see. you know what? All I can say to you guys here is what also maybe you can do is kind of go back to the community and show the community who you are and what it is that you do. So even if it's... No, I don't mean like that. But what I mean is like, just even... even to, Not to say give away food for free, but an open day or an event and advertise yourself and say, look, this is who we are. This is not who what we are about. And I, I pray that this um, radio interview could also help to bring back the support and the love that you was receiving before. Because 22 years is, 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 is a great accomplishment. Again, do you understand? And you couldn't have survived so long if you was having those kinds of things in your shop. Because when people come into the shop, they will be able to see all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So it's not as simple as something like that in the food. And if one person got it, somebody else would have definitely got it by now, isn't it? You know what I mean? So propaganda lives well, but reality is true. Yeah. You know what I mean? And reality. reality yeah. You know what I mean? So I just like to say thank you, Cool Breeze Restaurant, Alice, Danielle. And Natty for coming down to the late night talk show on a Sunday and for just putting across your point as to what happened in the alleged incident. And for those that reported it, if you that you know you have an opportunity to speak to the local council about the incident and what happened, and do yourself a favour, do go and speak about it. You know, because if you felt that strongly about it to post it on social media, feel that strongly about it to speak to the environmental health people. That's what they're there for. You know what I mean? So, thank you, and I wish you all the best in your endeavours in the future. Thank you so much for having us. No, it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure. Yeah, thanks very much as well. No, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. And look out for the Caribbean Association that is being put together yeah. as we speak yeah. in relation to our communities, Caribbean food, you know, having um, an uh, alliance together to look at how we put things out into the community so that whether it's, it's about social media, whether it's about marketing, whether it's about food and hygiene standards, whether it's about training, all of the different elements that goes into, you know, the proper um, equipment that you're supposed to use in terms of the polystyrene or the plastic and all these environmental health and, you know what I mean, and how we can make our food more healthy and stuff like that. Let me see if I can take this call. But it's already gone over 11, so I think that would mean the adverts is in right now. So I, I don't know, but hello? Hello. Hello, hi six eight three, how you doing? Oh hello, I'm very well, thank you. I just wanted to just make a, a point in relation to the cool breeze um um issue that you've been covering. Uh -huh. And just to say that um, you know, my family's eaten from the restaurant for uh over twenty years and that's you know, my young children, my my young boys, my daughter my partner, my entire family, and we've never had any issues with their food. And we just like to just say that we support the restaurant a hundred percent and just find the allegation uh, outrageous. Uh, we, we just find it outrageous. We've heard the circumstances and we find it incredibly difficult to understand how anything like that could, could, could really ever have happened. Um, so just to say that we just want people to continue supporting the shop, really. Uh, we're going to continue supporting that shop. Excellent. And uh, we just think that Alice is a very reputable restaurateur. And, um, you know, just want to continue supporting her, really. Thank you so much. What's your name? My name's Pam from Broccoli. Thank you very much, Pam. You know, that's a really a really good thing that you've done here because, you know, people need to, you know, the cool breeze needs to know that they do have the support of the local community and you know your call it means a lot to call breeze to alice to the family to to the restaurant you know so thank you very much for taking time out to get, to make this call um and i'm pleased that we was able to take it even though we've gone over past 11 <coughs> but we're able to still take this call so that you can show your support in relation so thank you very much okay then thank you okay pam take care bye have bye. a great evening bye bye, bye, -bye. So you hear that? That's two calls you, you, that you've had in support of your shop and what you're doing out there in the community, you know? Somebody is following you. They said 20 years they've been eating there. And that's what I'm saying, you know? That's like McDonald's. 
You know what I mean? It might even, you see the drop in business as well. The drop in business might not even be nothing to do with the cockroach. Yeah. Really not. It's yeah. Sometimes it's just cyclical. Yeah. It's Brexit. Yeah, Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> could be yeah. Brexit. It could just be that, you know, at different things happen at different times. In um in in, 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 in Clapham, what I've seen, and from talking to some proprietors, <laughs> what happens is in the month of February, things are quiet. It's just after Christmas. And you might think, okay, so £3.50 food or a rare tear tear. But... People go through changes, isn't it? We go through changes as to what we want and what we're able to do. Do you know what I mean? So I know people that is stocking up right now, which I need to go and buy my um, box of um, my box of mackerel in, in terms of this Brexit and all this kind of stuff, so that I've got some tin items that if the the food can't come in or the vegetables that I eat can't come in, I've got a little something something to eat. You know what I mean? Because we don't know what's going to happen with these foolish government right now with what they're keeping up right now. So. You know what I mean? So people might just be holding on to their pe pennies right now. It's nothing to do with you, per se. It's nothing personal, you know what I mean? But, again, I thank you. I've not eaten from your shop before. but I'm coming I... down there. We're going to go down there as well. Okay, cool. We're going to come down there, check it out, give a review and so forth, and talk about the food. I only eat fish, so I'm sure you've got fish down there. you got pepper prawns. We've got pepper prawns, steamed fish, brown stew fish, oh, fried right. fish. Don't worry, we have all the fish. We said, oh, I kind of fish. <laughs> <laughs> we have fish, fish, do we fish, comfort. We have so much fish, we never know what we do. All right, <laughs> cool breeze. Okay, sliding out. So you can find, where can you find cool breeze? Cool Breeze is on 266 Heather Green Lane, postcode SE136TT. Excellent. That's amazing. Thank you very much. And they are on Google. You can check them out on Google Reviews. You can see what people have said, the positive comments, and obviously you always get negative comments as well, but the majority of the comments are positive. So check it out. Also, we've had Jerk Shack in the building here today, where Jake Sh Jerk Shack is located in... Roehampton. Roehampton, which is... Um, in Roehampton. SW15. SW15. So check them out as well. That's in a whole completely different area. Um, one's left, one's right. Something like that. North, south, east, west. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's space. There's room for everybody. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's room for everybody. Shish Garfield. <laughs> but you know, food is food, isn't it? and we all got to eat. And there's one thing that we know in this world that we need every day to sustain us. Even if it's one meal a day, is food. You know what I mean? So you can't go on. So make sure you guys check out Cool Breeze out down there in Hoover Green and also even Jerk Shack down there. Okay, so thank you guys and um, God bless you and have a great evening. And thanks again to Cool Breeze for coming down and putting your sign across. And we pray that, you know, business picks up regardless of for whatever reason, cockroach, um, pocket money, whatever. You know what I mean? And continue to do the good work that you do in the community in terms of serving the people with the football and the cricket as well. You know, so praise the Lord and amen. Thank you, Leticia. Thank you. Thank you. All right, take care. Okay, guys, so this is the Late Night Talk Show. You'll catch me, um, Miss Leash, um, Blue or Brownberry any day or any Sunday from 9 to 11 on City Lock Radio. So it's been a pleasure for our two guests that we've had today. It's been a pleasure with the two guests that we've had today, which is Sounds of New Wine Gospel Group, who are down there in the Sounds of New Sounds, New Wine. Oh gosh, I can't even say it right. Sounds of New Wine Church down there in Woolwich, just round there by the um, Woolwich Dock um, Ferry. Closest train station is Woolwich Arsenal, and then other than that, you have Cool Breeze down there in Hibber Green and Jerk Shack down there in Roehampton. So we bless you, we take care, and stay tuned for next week's show. Next week, Sunday from 9 to 11. If you've got something you want us to talk about, let us know. Take care, God bless, and good night. <laughs>